Hey guys, it's Lisa. I'm just going to do a quick acrylic pour on a vase. Um, I have a ton of colors uh, from Color Art Primary Elements that I had mixed up in these little um, dishes here. And I didn't want them to get dried out because I don't know how good these little containers are. So they've been mixed up for a couple weeks now. I just went and stirred them all because as they sit, the mico, you know, will drop to the bottom. So I have, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11. I have 12 colors. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to, it's going to be a color art explosion in a dirty pour. So, yeah. So, and it's going on this face and it's going to be magnificent, right? Yes. Yes, it's going to be magnificent. So, let me make sure that you can see what I'm doing. And then when I get to pouring over the vase, I'll zoom you in a little bit more. All right, so basically I am just going to dump these colors um, into this Okay. Yeah. You know what? Let's move this and then I can put it right there. So, uh, here goes nothing. Um, this is hot cinnamon. I don't have a whole lot left of this. One of my very favorite colors. And I'm not using a white or a black or anything with these. Okay. This is just, it is strictly primary element surprise is what we're doing right now. Primary element surprise. That sounds fantastic, right? All right. There's one. Gosh, that's a gorgeous color. They're all gorgeous, but this hot cinnamon is my favorite. All right, so, um, this is Bling It um, Interference Red. Um, some of the stuff, some of them I'll leave a little bit and maybe do double layers, but most of them I'm just gonna dump and we're gonna keep our fingers crossed because it's a lot. This is Sweet Pea. All of these colors are so gorgeous. If you have not tried the Primary Element line from Color Art, I know in my resin videos you see me using Color Art resin art all the time. But this is a acrylic system. This is a, um, uh, it is a powdered paint system, I guess. So these are powders and then you use a polypore, which is like a acrylic binder pouring medium type thing. And you make these uh, that one should have been thinned out a little bit. I might have some issues with that. Uh, let me swirl it into that a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I got to pay attention to that. Um, that was freesia. And sometimes when your paint sits, sometimes it gets thicker. So sometimes you have to thin it out. 
This one is Papal Pap Papillon Papillion. Gorgeous. So, um, yeah, this is an acrylic acrylic paint system. Paints that you make yourself. So that's exciting because you can add and you can mix different colors and come up with your own custom colors. Which, I mean, you can with tube paints too. But um, this system, you kind of feel like a little chemist, like you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing, right? Like, yeah. Like your own episode of Breaking Bad. I'm just kidding. No. This is Dragon Fire. I would have showed you all these close up. But you guys, that would have took forever, and I'm really trying to shorten my videos. I've been told I give way too much information. Nobody needs to have that much information. <laughs> that I talk too much. Well, whatever. Whatever I say. Um, so yeah, if you haven't tried the primary elements, then you need to do that. This one is Shy Rose. And in the description, I'll have um, all the information and the colors listed again. And um, I have a 20% coupon code to save off your entire order uh, from Color Art. You go to colorart.com, colorart.com, and uh, hang on, I might need to fluid this out a little bit. Um, where are you? Hang on, hang on. I'm missing stuff. Well, I can't find it. Um, anyway, go to colorart.com and pick out all of the stuff that you want. You can either do, I'm just thinning it out a little bit just so that it flows. It's just from sitting so long. Let me finish a thought. So you go to the website and you pick out your colors. They have resin colors or color pigments that go in resin. They have diamond galaxies colors also goes in resin. She has a lot of pigments so that um, the primary elements is her acrylic baseline. All right, that was C, C Goddess. This one here is Meridian Blue. Gorgeous, it's like a deep, deep teal. Whoops. This is like just a dump cup of goodness. So excited. It's like, dude, you have like a dump cup of glitter, like from doing your tumblers and stuff. And it is so beautiful. This is what this is going to be like. 
This one's a little thick. I'm just adding a very little bit of water. I had some um, art fluid, which is also sold by Color Art. Um, it's a fluid you can add instead of adding water. This one is called Robin's Egg. Yes, I don't know what happened to the art fluid. I I have the Liquitex Flow Aid, but I don't really use that because this is all about the color art, right? Can't be throwing in Liquitex when you're doing a color art explosionary goodness. A little bit thick. I wonder why some colors thickened up on me. Oh well, it happens with all paints, like your paints and your bottles that stay. Okay, this is a gorgeous color. This is called Pink Parasol. Parasol. You guys, this vase is either going to be amazing or it's going to be the most expensive mud vase ever, right? This is Spiced Pumpkin. I should have put some of this throughout. <laughs> I'm not going to put it all in there because it's really overwhelming for although I could have put it all in there and that was the rest of the bling it so all right I got all 12 colors in there. Did I use them all up? Yep, except for this, which sometimes when you do a vase, um, a little bit more in there. Sometimes when you do a vase, oh, this is gonna, I have to get a different cup because this one's gonna uh, flip to the side. So anyway, when you do a vase, sometimes it, um, as you're putting the colors around they're not flowing super well so when I do it I usually put like a little base color down a little base on the vase same with like a painting right you want to put yeah I think you guys can see from there it helps flow helps the paint to flow so basically I'll just start and this can help be part of my base because I'm not using any whites or anything so yeah all right so to prep my base all I did was clean it and then wipe it down with alcohol. I didn't sand it. I didn't do nothing of that sort. So I'm just 
going to rub this down with this beautiful spiced pumpkin, which y'all gonna just love the vase as is as soon as the spiced pumpkin's on it. You're gonna be like, leave it. But we can't leave it because we have a whole cup of yumminess. right there okay so I just want to make sure it gets all the way down so this adds like you know like a like a lubricant mm, let's just say mm, I don't know when you are using primary elements, you must wear gloves. Not because of a danger thing or anything, because all of her products are green. Also made in the USA. Um, but they are so pigmented that your hands will be the color of spiced pumpkin for eternity. Not quite eternity, but like real close to eternity. And it ain't cute. See that? It stained, it actually stained my gloves. And when you use it on canvas, the underneath of the canvas, you'll be able to see it. I got a goober in there. No goobers. All right, guys. Oh, I'm so scared. Should I give it a little, just a little, like an X, X in it. Okay. All right. It's going to be fantastic. Don't you worry about it. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited. I've got to get some of these out of the way. Normally I pour on a canvas or something so that I can use the paint. But this particular one, I want to make, um, I want to use the drips uh, to dip um, some cabochons in and some pop sockets in. So that's why I'm not doing it. So I don't waste it. It's not going to go to waste. So please don't talk about my paint wasting because I don't waste it. Oh my God. Oh my. Let's hold up and see what happens here. Uh. this side look oh. is that a bubble okay over here is having a little hard time getting all the way down I'm just going to help it along, and then when I pour my next batch, it's going to find its way down by itself. You got, oh, I'm going to shut my damn light off with my forehead. You guys, for real. <clears throat> Wait till you guys see the close-up. All right. 
Here we go. It is pretty thick. I really should have thinned them all out. But these little stringy bits are going to make cool little designs. <laughs> you guys, look at that cup. Okay, now we're going to just watch it. Watch it. Now there's a lot of paint on here. So I'm actually going to blow it off the top. Otherwise it'll never dry. Do you know what I should have done? Not that anybody looks at the bottom, but why not, right? Let's do this. A little bit of a cell activator. I'm gonna pass out. Seriously, it's too thick to do that, so. All right, that's it. Enough playing, Lisa. Stop it. All right, guys, this is going to change. Oh, we do have a little bloom on here. I'll spin it. And then when it dries, I'm going to put resin on it. And it's going to be fantastic. Ugh. So pretty, guys. All right. Enough chit chat. Enough chitter chatter. All right. Hang on one second. Okay. Uh, let me shut off some of these lights so you can see the full effect so you can see what I'm seeing do there's my little bloom of course it's on the bottom of a this of course it's on the bottom of a vase so nobody will ever see that it was successful look at look at the different it almost looks like wood grain with different colors of yumminess. Hang on.
Mm. Dreaded bubbles. Damn. I'm going to torch it in a second. But look at that. Isn't that cool? Isn't it weird how some spots, like some of the colors ran? That, actually it's not that weird because some of the colors were runnier. More liquidy. I'm kind of glad that I kept it kind of thick because it really is sticking nicely. That looks like melted candle now it's really sticking nicely to the oh that's cool sticking to the glass finish a thought lisa you guys this is so cool i love it isn't that pretty So yeah, I'll be making like some pop sockets and stuff out of this swirliness. That looks like candy, don't it? That'd be a really pretty taffy. Is that a color or did it like go all the way? It almost looks like it went through the clear glass but no it's a color all right guys I don't know about you but I could just watch this thing all day long and look at it and spin it but I'm sure you don't have all day and you come here just to watch somebody make a vase so if you like my video please give it a thumbs up Please leave me a comment. Do you see that? Look at that. Look at that cup. That in itself is a work of art right there. That hot cinnamon is to die for. Ooh, very patriotic there. All right. Anyway. So this is Color Art's Primary Elements over a vase. I have another video of me doing a vase with primary elements. It's in my library of videos. Um, and then I have a code I'll put in the, um, I'll put in the description also. My code is Lisa White Art 120 uh, for 20% off your entire order. And then, yeah, if you're looking for resin, KS resin is, and they ship free shipping in the United States. My code is my best medicine, and ksresin.com. So here. Are my color art this is my color art wall this is all the resins resin color resin art and stuff these are the blingets which you can use in acrylic or resin uh, the tints the diamond galaxies and here are the primary elements so yeah, I, if I didn't believe in the product and if I didn't love using the product, I wouldn't use it all the time, you guys. And I certainly wouldn't tell people to spend their money on something I think is a waste of money. Because this right here, this gorgeousness, is not a waste of money. <laughs> so, alright guys. So, I will see you on the next one. Come over and join 
Tammy Anderson and I in um, our Facebook group, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. And uh, hopefully I'll see you over there. Thanks, guys. Bye.